Billy of the Fuji guys. Today we're in Cologne at Photokina at the Fuji Film booth. Uh, we made an incredible announcement about the GFX camera today, so I'm going to give you a quick booth tour. The best part, of course, to start off is why not the gallery, the Fuji X gallery, because Fuji is all about image quality. So let's take a look at this gallery to show you uh, some of the incredible prints that you make. And this is very, very important to Fuji. Fuji's heritage is on film and, you know, Let's talk about some of these images right now. We got Albert Normandin from Canada. He's a, a well-known photographer and just started shooting with the X-T2. Um, he was part of our initial photographers that test that camera out and gave us some feedback on, it, on its operations. And uh, that's some incredible prints there. We got uh, other prints, uh, not only in Canada, but also um, from Germany as well. Uh, we got Damon Lovegrove from the UK, who's a, a portrait wedding photographer. Very nice shots. And of course, uh, going down this way here, Sweden, some lands landscape shots. Fuji cameras can really shoot a wide assortment, especially the new X-T2. And we've just expanded its autofocus capabilities to shoot sports. Um, a photographer in Italy as well. You can see some of its gallery. So not only is it set to that, but also street photography is, is much, much, very doable. And not the X-T2, but also uh, even the X-Pro2 as well. We got some commercial work, still life photography. We got uh, some, basically, uh, a great camera for reporters in the field, especially the X-Pro2 in, in, in its, its design and layout like a, like a rangefinder camera. And then of course uh, in Brazil we got, uh, for, for one of our photographers that actually shot the, uh, the Olympics with the Fuji X-T2. So that's kind of a, a first for Fuji. It's one of the major uh, standing points now with the new autofocus system, the customized uh, settings to allow you to capture action in sports. It's what make, you know, makes the X-T2, I think, personally, a game changer for digital cameras. And, and hopefully, you know, people that, real, uh, that are using DSLRs realize some of the benefits now of the X, of mirrorless cameras, you know, has gotten to the point where it's very, very close. Okay, so that's kind of like the gallery. We have uh, other shots as well. Hey, Derek, how's it going? <laughs> so we're just going to take a look around uh, the, the gallery itself. Um, actually, we got Mindy Tan from Singapore. I think that's that. These are your shots right yes, here, aren't yes, they? Hi. So this is a <laughs> hello. A nice gallery, and again, you know, Fuji. You know, the reason why I started off here for a booth tour again is because Fuji's long heritage of film, and we really want people to print the images because Fuji cameras make the best prints. Okay. So let's keep going with the booth. Thank you very much, Mindy. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of photographers, so if you have a chance to get to the show, you know, please come in. We've got some action shots right here. This is a, a panning job, probably shot at maybe 1 160th of a second, 125th of a second, and, and if the photographer's very good, probably can right down to 1 60th of a second, okay? Um, the next stop we're gonna do is go right to the digital camera section, so if you follow me right to the front of the booth, Fuji's booth this year so it was so big that we had to separate, you know, the main booth from just the gallery itself with all the prints that we're doing here. Right here is our X-Series Touch and Try section where you can try out the latest Fuji products. Uh, we just announced, of course, uh, now available the XF 23mm lens. We also have the X-T2 and, of course, other cameras like the X-Pro2, X-70 and the brand new XA3 mirrorless camera, which uh, hopefully opens up some photography uh, to some other generation that, you know, I think, you know, through cell phones, uh, have a more appreciation for photography. So, let's come with me. All right, so right behind me, of course, as you can see, is a very, very large print. And this is coming from a very early um, prototype of the new GFX mirrorless medium format camera the world's first uh, medium format mirrorless camera with a focal plane shutter, which is, uh, you know, for us, you know, something that we really spent our time with. It was two years in development. We started to research this, and it's, you know, ready early next year. So let's take a look at some of the, uh, the cameras that are on this side here. So we do have a gallery of all our cameras, 
In this little window back here, we have our new GFX system. It's a completely different system from X-Series, so it's a little separated in terms of lines, different type of customers that uh, it's, it's appealing to. Um, you can see, of course, you'll learn more of the information about the GFX in my other videos. Uh, again, just a really quick tour. We have the X-Series lineup right over here. You can see all the lenses in the five years that we developed you know, the X-System. You know, we now have you know, over 23 different XF lenses uh, and many, many bodies for customers to choose from. And now, of course, the latest flash as well will be a, a nice addition to the system. So really quickly, this is Fuji's talk. This is where Fuji's ex-photographers talk about their experience with their cameras and really showcase what they do in their professional work and how possible it is to use a mirrorless camera in the replacement of a, of a DSLR. So you know, we have schedules here for the whole show with some big top name uh, photographers that we're doing, that we're doing talks. Uh, we have Elia Lacardi. We also have, uh, earlier there was actually um, the Strobest, David Hobby, which is an awesome presentation if you missed that, but he'll have that again as well. But again, you can check out the schedule, so let's keep going. You know, for the first day show, and it's not even, you know, noon, it's been crazily packed at the Fujifilm booth. Uh, we're going to step away. Uh, you know what? Let's go this way. Hi. Hey, I'm just, I'm just in the meeting. <laughs> So we're actually at the maintenance side, and here you can bring your camera and get it a quick service for free. They'll check the firmware to make sure it's up to date, and they'll do a free sensor cleaning for you as well. You can also boil some Fuji cameras to test out. So that means that you have first-hand usage of the camera, and that's a very nice service that Fuji is offering uh, at the, the booth itself, as you can see. And all this is actually free of charge, not just for, for the cleaning, but also for loaning out the products. All right. So coming around, we're going to talk about the technology section for Fuji. Um, this is kind of a deconstruction of the X-T2, as you can see. The new focal plane shutter, the new sensor, as well as the new x processor Pro that's four times faster than Fuji's uh, current model. That's really the benchmark for our processor system. The X-Pro2 utilizes that as well. And as you can see, these components here um, you know, are very, very fine-tuned location, the buttons, the designs, metal dials, even the actual dials themselves have a, a, a Japanese design, what's called Ayame, which has sort of a cross hatching, very, very unique, gives you a nice touch uh, on the dials themselves. And Fuji's first again, of course, is 4K video. Fuji is very, very serious about videos. The X-T Pro, the X-Pro2 was really the first camera, but the X-T2 has expanded that offering, you know, uncompressed HDMI out, 422 output. Uh, we're working with many manufacturers right now to really, you know, offer a better video experience. We're looking at Atomos, who will actually eventually support our, our LUT files that will be available, because again, you can use uncompressed uh, HDMI out. So this is a Fuji first for us, and, you know, there's more things to come. So you want to keep watching our channel for that, okay? This section behind me is sort of a live studio demo uh, where we have uh, some of the cameras tethered. And we probably have a GFX as well uh, that's rigged up so that you can see its tethering capabilities. So if you want to kind of check out you know, our new flash system, uh, a demo of that as well as a demo of some of our latest Fuji cameras like the GFX, uh, this might be a good section to kind of stop in for, for the day. Again, the show's open uh, for the first two days for trade, but of course, the rest of the week uh, will be open for the public. So smartphones have increasingly been very, very popular amongst uh, you know, pretty much everyone, including myself. Everyone takes photos. And you know, the best camera you have is the camera that you have with you. And we understand you know, the importance of smartphones. Fuji's you know, knowledge of that understands the customers. And they're offering you know, a printer like the Instax Share SB2 that allows you to make prints from your smartphone. Whether you've taken those pictures with a smartphone or whether you're downloading it from any of the Fuji cameras or have it uploaded from uh, any of your cameras onto uh, your camera or you can make prints directly. This is a, a brand new printer, higher quality, faster prints, and uh, you'll real, really understand you know, 
what Fuji's at within stacks in two unique colors. Of course, you got the gold and the silver. Let's take a look at um, some of the amazing colors for the Instax Mini 70. This is one of our latest model, a very modern style camera that has you know, a little bit more control over the Instax Mini 8. It does have a selfie mirror, making it a lot easier to frame your shot. Uh, and again, uses Instax Mini Film. So what are we announcing this year uh, in, in the Instax world? And, and many of us are asking for maybe larger prints, so we've actually developed uh, a square print. So this is uh, just a developmental announcement that we're working on right now. In addition to the square print, we are also, of course, going to develop a camera system that will allow you to make those prints. So um, that's kind of interesting. Let's just wrap it around really quickly to this side. And Instax now has become a very, very popular product for Fuji. Um, you know, whether you're doing arts and crafts, whether it's for your locker, whether it's an ID that you're using as a company business, or as a wedding photographer making your own personal, uh, you know, business cards. Instax has quite a lot of options to deal with. So we're in the Wonder Photoshop area. This is where, you know, Fuji is really trying for people to understand that, you know, pictures are very important and, you know, eventually your images could be lost and you should try to make those prints and this is where we're trying to make it a lot easier and a lot more fun. So Wonder Photo Studio is a concept store that's all around the, found all around the world from Tokyo, Singapore, there's even a, a new built one in New York as well where you can actually try out the, uh, you know, get your prints done in a very unique way and it makes it just easier for you to not only get prints from your camera but also from your smartphone. And of course, if you're in Canada, you can visit Annex Photo, which is our, our Wonder Photo store concept. But in here, you'll see uh, different ways to work with your prints, whether it's actually, you know, wall decor, where it's actually prints themselves. We've introduced new, you know, photographic paper, uh, both canvas, linen, as well as, as, as some other um, types of paper. Now, here's, here's some of the existing print styles that we do have. Um, the idea is to make the system very simple, so you download an app and it gives you quick access to do different types of, of prints, including a, a very, very popular one, which we'll try to show you here. And it's basically scrambling your prints and making an instant shot so it makes it easier, so you don't spend so much time on a kiosk trying to pick the right shots for you. Uh, so this is basically where it gives you ideas of making prints how you like, and <laughs> and and you know it's a lot. Fuji has yeah. so much thing, and this is just you know a, a a part of what Fuji does, of course. And this is our photo imaging division. So what you see is prints, you know, devices, capture devices, output devices, you know. You don't see some of the other things like our medical division as well as a you know, pharmaceutical division. So Fuji is well-rounded in research and development. We're taking technology, you know, 80 years ago from film and we di diversified that to become a company that really offers a more lifestyle uh, experience, whether it's making prints, and making uh, and taking pictures. So, you know, I hope you like this little quick tour of the Fuji, Fuji Kina booth, Fuji Kina Photo Kina booth. Uh, we do suggest if you are in the neighborhood to come down and check out this. This is probably by far the busiest booth of the show, especially with our latest announcement the GFX. So, again, if you want to learn more about this and other Fujifilm products and information, again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. At Fuji, guys. Until then, I'm Billy. I'll see you next time.